Yo, this is Sit on the Place, Final Fantasy VIII. We are in the fire cavern to do a little bit bonus mission to locate a low level guardian force. When getting uh, it, we'll become quite nice and strong. Get ourselves some more fires. Ooh, 12 fires, that's pretty good. And with this, we can become pretty cool. But more battles will come to us, we have to go through them, like these ones. Look at that, four enemies, and these ones are a bit different as well. Bomb! Elemental monster. It's a nice attack for these. Treat the monster weakness with scan. Yeah, so the bombs here are uh, fire elemental. That means they are a bit different. How different are they? Let's check it out with a scan. Let's just draw a fire from them. There is the bomb. A monster powered by fire. Usually calm, but still a dangerous monster that becomes gigantic or explodes when attack. Very weak to ice. It's also weak against wind. But absorbs a fire. 330 health. It's uh, HP decent, pretty decent, but its um, rest of stats are kind of weak. Let's just draw from that one. Take all these bats on the on the side there because they're pretty weak. There we go. Need to worry more about those. We don't have any ice magic yet though, because we haven't faced an enemy that has ice yet, so that's fine. You can just defeat them normally or you can just uh, use some other magic on them. That's a pretty good hit. Not enough though, of course. the ram in you. Ouch. Let's just stack up some more fires because they're pretty good to have. But it will be easier way to get some nice magic without having to sit there and draw forever. Let's use some other magic. Let's use uh, thunder. On one. Let's draw some more fire as well. Ooh, that's pretty good. Draw failed. Yeah, they can sometimes fail if your spirit is too low. Let's just talk up more fire. Let's see how much uh, thunder magic quest this will do. 106. Remember also when you did this uh, draw with uh, Squall? There's an icon next to it. That means that magic is already assigned to a stat. That means if you stuck up on it, and you can, not kept already, that means the stat could probably increase permanently. I mean, as long as, of course, that you are um, stuck up on it. A little bit over 100 uh, with uh, Questus. Let's try again after we did Snow. We have 50 fire. That's quite a lot. Let's see how much we deal damage now with Thunder. I'm 24, so that's a bit more. Win this one, which is pretty good. Level up as well for both Quizzes and Squall, which means their stats will go up permanently. 4 AP, which is pretty good. The draw point is already empty, so we can't really do much more about it. And here we have another enemy. This one is called the Grat. This one is awesome. Because this guy has not only fire magic and thunder magic, he also has a new one. That we really need to get a lot of. We don't need to, but we should get. That is going to bleed blizzard. That's going to bleed. It's going to bleed, bleed, bleed. And blizzard, of course, is the best way to battle here in this place because blizzard, for example, against the bombs, they're weak to ice. That means they will take a lot of damage from it. This crater is pretty weak. It doesn't look, maybe look a bit terrifying, but look at it. A2 damage. So if you don't mind uh, fighting this guy a bit, then you can get yourself some uh, pretty nice amount of magic. Stop me up a bit. Ah, Blizzard is pretty good. Of course, he does use magic spells his, him, himself, so be a bit careful because it does some damage. But again, you have some cures from before, so don't be afraid to use more. And also, of course, Glow probably should heal a bit more because he has higher magic. 55, that's pretty good. Draw some more blizzards. 7 now is pretty good. Need some more 
more damage to this guy. And that's it. Pretty weak. At least he has a good amount of magic though, so it's a good way to stock up on magic yeah, for the early game. Low XP as well. Only 1 AP, so... This guy's more of a call is called a draw bot. Just draw and draw and draw and draw. It's basically his main thing to do. I guess I was right. You and Cypher are in class of your own. You both have amazing strength and potential. Aww, thank you, Questus. You're so nice. And again, you are our teacher, so I kind of expected it. We can increase spirit as well with, um, with Questus. Give her, let's say, a blizzard. Or even a cure, perhaps. Increasing her spirit by one, I mean, she'll take a bit less damage from magical attacks. Well, now it's magic plus 12. That's up a lot. That's up. That's up. Five magic. That means uh, he's pretty useful. That's for sure. Um, are we ready to go? I guess we are. Let's go into the core here and we initiate our first boss battle of the game. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? Was well, like, whatever. You seem confident enough. Better be squall because here comes our first boss man. You probably see who that is as well. It's something very familiar. Yep, you guessed it right. It is Ifrit. Ifrit is our first boss battle. It's pretty simple because you also can uh, stock up a cure from him, which means you can pretty much always have ways to heal. Again, he uh, we can do a scan if you want to. Sometimes I always recommend to scan to know the weaknesses and strengths of bosses. Ifrit, Fire GF. Uses fire magic. It's a strong opponent, but it's as part of the Garden's exam. Not impossible to defeat. So he absorbs fire. He has over 1000 health, a lot of spirit though, so he's pretty damn strong against magical attacks. He absorbs fire, and as you can also see, he's also weak to ice. He can use Blizzard on him, but again, he has very, very high spirit. So, even though you cast Blizzard on him, you probably won't deal that much damage to him. Let's check it out. Yeah, 70. Not as much against the, the Grat, but it did over 100. Let's see if Squall does some more, because he has higher magic. Eighty-six. So it's not a much more. Even again, it's because of his spirit is so high. 58 with damage taken from the fire, which is pretty okay, I guess. Let's take a couple some more cures, because this wasn't not really hard. Just a regular attack as well. 37 damage, not really high, because again, if it also has pretty tanky stats. Impudent humans. Ouch. That hurts a bit. Let's probably just continue doing the same thing with it. Let's do Blizzard. And uh, let's actually draw cast a cure onto Squall. Let's see how much that one heals. Cast cure on Squall. 270. So it's not that bad, but in general, sometimes the cure cast from draw can be really bad, so. See, so Squall took some more damage as well from fire than Quistus did, because uh, Quistus has higher spirit than Squall. So again from Squall. 88, which is pretty okay. 41 damage now. Fire from Ifrit. And on Squall again. It's nothing really dangerous. His highest attack is the one you see that you re rush to in the air, so nothing really to worry about really. The dealings and whipping, some ass kicking, that's probably the best thing you should do here. Got a lot of damage hit again. Then four. Not too shabby, but again, not too dangerous either. So. Nothing really to worry about. I mean, if you're really confident, take it. Just sit and draw against this guy for minutes and minutes just to stock up on your spells. Just remember to cast yourself a cure at some time because, as you can see, because we're already taking some damage now, but we should be fine. Let's just do another draw, cast, and cure. Well, no, 
only needs about 44, so you can see that the the strength of using um, the, st the strength of using draw cast is mm, up and down. I think it's better for the squall to heal himself, perhaps. Let's have Quistus steal Blizzard instead. Seven day now, which is uh, a bit okay, but again, it's a bit less. Another rush attack on Squall again. This, this guy doesn't really like Squall, but then again, Squall is the guy who needs to do this mission, so. Four. This as well from Questus. Seven day. So far. Pretty good. I mean, this bat's not supposed to be hard. Got some attacks as well on Ifrit. Not done yet, though. As you can see, he still fights. Got a blizzard in him now this time. Eighty. Forty-four. Permit to lose to a human. Very well. I will join you. And this battle is over. Frit uh, missed defeat. And we don't get any items or XP. Well, yeah, items without XP. If the card very good. 20 AP, which is very, very good. And then Ifrit, of course, joining our party. There's much time left, but let me go through this really quick. Good, you got yourself a GF. For junction at GF, you'll be able to use the elemental junction ability. Here's an explanation about elements. Junctions can change basic param parameters such as strength and magic, as well as elemental parameters. By junctioning a GF with elemental junction ability, and mass magic is junctioned, the elemental attack defense slot above HP turns white, indicating that elemental junction. When the left pad is selected, the elemental junction screen appears. The metal junction works like other junctions. First, select a stat to junction. Now choose a magic to finish a junction. However, non elemental magic like cure cannot be junctioned. The metal junction affect attack and defense differently. Junctioning to elemental attack links that elements to a character's attack. The percentage indicates how much of the attack's damage is linked to that element. At the maximum value of 100%, the attack becomes entirely elemental. An example, ice is at 50%. This means that damage only increases by 50%. When junction to elemental defense, the damage from that element is reduced. Reduction of damage is shown in percentage. At 100% damage is reduced to 0. In the example, fire damage is reduced to 20% because elemental defense is reduced to 80%. Green star is displayed when the value goes over 100%, indicating that the damage is absorbed. In this state, you can absorb the amount of damage indicated in the percentage. In the example, 50% of the fire damage is absorbed. Multiple magic types can be junction to elemental defense depending on the Gallery Force ability. Junction multiple magic types with the same elemental for cumulative effect. Try junctioning different magic to check the effect. You can also select order to automatically junction the most effective elemental magic. This concludes the elemental junction tutorial. There's a lot of fire elemental monsters here, so junction blizzard to your elemental attack you have an easier time with fire elemental enemies. Well, let's check it out. To so go to junction with Squall, let's junction Ifrit to him. Then we can junction... I don't, let's not go out though. Let's go manual. So first we can, for example, take uh, Fire of Magic. And then maybe take uh, Thunder instead. And if you go here and put Blizzard, now we see that I will deal 6% of additional damage to any enemy that is weak to ice. So that's pretty good. My strength goes up as well, so now I deal even more physical strength. Magic is a bit down now because I feel like Squall should be more focused about more about that. 
course, she still only has her spirit, which is fine. We'll get more later. In the Guardian Force now, we see that HP junction and quest goal is now 29 to 50, so we're getting closer to be able to junction HP value as well. Same with Shiva and Strength. And if it now has 7 magic plus 10%, we should give him something else. We can also give him Strength plus 20%. He also has elemental defense junction, which means if you want to junction against elemental damage, this is something you should probably go for. But in my opinion, you should again start with HP junction. Get HP junction so that you can have all three characters in your party, when you have three at least, to be able to have uh, increased uh, both strength and HP. Even though we beat this boss, we're still going to have to fight some regular enemies, but that's uh, not part of the game, I guess. Let's see if Squall does some more damage now. Let's just draw a thunder from this guy. Let's see if he does more damage now. Ooh, almost 100. That's much better. We were only about 60 earlier, so... It's certainly a big improvement. There we go. Much more stronger now, that's for sure. M stompies are very good to draw magic later on. Draw field here is, seems to be empty still. Oh, just as we're gonna check it, we get in the battle. If you don't like to do battles, you can also escape. But this guy, for example, you probably should draw some from because uh, draw some blizzards. Have some more uh, ice power for Squall here against enemies that are weak to ice. Keep doing this for one more turn. Press the different uh, buttons, you can also escape here if you run. But if you do running, you won't get any XP or items, so be warned. Draw point here, got some fire, let's give it more to Squall. Got four fires. Draw point will uh, take some time between every some certain minutes or, or steps before you can draw again. So Check it out there time now if you have some really good uh, draw spots. This one we don't really want to bother with, let's just try to run away. For later episodes, I'll probably just do a skip on the recording when we go to the random battles, so don't, don't fret if you see it, it's just normal. But for now we can just continue doing it, because it's good to go through some, some stats. Another grat here, we also got ourselves more bats. Thunder. Ah, she hurts a bit. Let's beat these bats first. That's pretty good damage now. But can we do even more damage? Oh, for sure we can. Let's stock up more on fire. This fire is the, is the magic we junction to Squall's attack, or strength. So the more, ma the more fire he has, then the more physical damage he will do to enemies. Thunder is next. Ouch. It hurts a bit, but we're fine. Some more fires for Squall and for Quistis. More and less magic from this guy. Let's see the damage difference now. Quistis, 53. Always for 109. Yeah, there you see the power of uh, the junction magic. So, see a nice way to customize your character in this game for sure. More level ups on the guardian forces so they have more HP and can survive better. More wild battles to fight. So you get some bombs now, perhaps? No, it's the same ones as before. Quicker. And 
and we're out. For some reason those guards are gone now, so I guess they don't want to block uh, anyone from entering this place, I guess. Seems a bit weird, because technically you had to have some support to even go in here, so... I guess they don't really care. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode we're going to go back to the school and prepare ourselves for the field exam, whatever that might be. But before that I'll be doing some grinding on the sides to get himself some more boosts of power and magic. So don't be worried if you see our characters being a bit more powerful next time. But don't worry, it's all for the better. Like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on social media and that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you guys next time as my journey in Final Fantasy VIII continues.